Hello, everyone, and welcome to 30 to 50 Feral Hogs. I'm Drunken Dan. Uh, thoughts and prayers, first of all, for the people of Toledo. It's the only thing we can do. What else are we going to do? I mean, I bet. I mean, they were surprised to find out about the sh about the shooting massacre over in Toledo, but you know, the president said so, so it must be true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot, I mean, when God. Has, sure, I, I didn't hear that. When has when has a, a president, let alone Donald Trump, ever told a lie? But it I mean, never happens. Of all the things to get wrong in your. I mean, it's not a lie. Thing. It's just him being dumb. So you. And know. it's like the one thing you probably should have not got wrong. Like you think someone would be like, yeah, it was in um, uh, San. Uh, I mean, I am not president. I'd have to remember. No, I actually do know it was. I just can't think. San Jose. I think hey, it was. I'm no, sorry for all, all the El people Pace. we lost in, in Niagara Falls. Uh, Paso something. Ah. Where was it? I don't, I don't even. Actually, I don't even remember. I mean, all the Texas towns can sound. Uh, it was in El Paso, Texas. It was El, El Paso. Sorry be, I'm yeah. sorry to be racist, Texas, but I mean. I mean, Texas is racist. It's cool. But, but, I, gonna, I was I told that... I just got from a Frank Yeager saying he wants to landscape my lawn. But huh. I was told, told open carry would mean there would be a good guy with a gun who'd stop him. Wait, so Frank Yeager wants to cut your lawn? Yes. Probably shouldn't let him do it. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure he'll, like, actually just, like, cyborg ninja me. Yeah. While screaming Probably. about how he wants me to hurt... While he, while he wants me to hurt him more. Probably. It does sound like a thing that Cyborg Ninja would do. But hey, on the bright side, it's not all bad. Yeah, well, Chaos is finally out in the West. Yeah, uh, I'm probably gonna get it in the near future. I, I definitely want it. Oh, I forgot. I completely forgot. Richard Hawk! You forgot Hi. that it's time Richard to Hawk. party! You, you know, I'm going to have to... I'm gonna have to fucking uh, record that with you guys. I just yeah. have to. I guess I'm just having trouble processing the fact that they actually finally brought it over, complete with the terrible acting. Yeah. I am so glad they did. No, Neo knew translation to make it legitimate. I don't want it to be legitimate. It's... I, I want it to be the fucking handball corn fest that and it was. People, people who are, who are, un who are uninitiated to From Software's library are like, wait a second, I recognize that name. Aren't they the Dark Souls people? Yeah, yeah, see, at one point, they made decent games, and one of those games was, uh, Metal Wolf Chaos. I... I mean... That's the hill you want to die on. Yes. Entirely your or alter or al Alternatively, they looked at the actual president, and, like, I mean, I could totally see him attempting to turn the White House into a mobile fortress called the Fight House. Okay, I guess that's not that obscure after all. Maybe America is ready for this game. Oh, suddenly this parody is too far closer to the truth than we like. No, uh, Michael is more competent than Dr Donald Trump. Well... He's more like Richard Hawk, if anything. No, he's not even Richard Hawk level. Richard Hawk has charisma. Yeah, exactly. I, Richard Hawk, the last American hero. I fucking love... Richard Hawk! Richard! My God! Our love for America. I like how, uh, according to the uh, developers, they base a lot of it on like WWE wrestlers. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it, it does. It really does. Oh, but ah, uh, in other news, I also finished uh, Trails of the Sky, and uh, first chapter uh, the other day, and I'm working on chat on second chapter now. And he liked it. Yeah, it was fun. I liked it. I got to the end. It's like, oh, I actually care about these characters. That's impressive. That's kind. Yeah. I like them more than I like Persona characters. That's imp that is super impressive. Oh, uh, yeah, the characters in that game are really well done. Uh, <laughs> Estelle is still is definitely my favorite protagonist. I, I love her. She's great. Not seen any other protagonist yet. Uh, third chapter gets another protagonist. Yeah, I have heard that it's the priest guy. He's, but third chapter is also not like actually the third chapter. It's like, sweet. It's like a, it's like a game that's there for backstory purposes. From what I would tell them, one and two are like the complete game. It's like a special disc. Yeah. And it is. It, it does take place a after the other events, so it is kind of like 
the final hurrah for It's that. fun if you just want to run around with all the characters and just like kill stuff. But, and they also do have those uh those, those doors that give you a little bit more insight in some of the characters. But apparently the apparently the, the, a lot of them come back for trails of some cold steel, so Yeah. Not really a last hurrah. I guess. Well, that's what, well, that's what I was meant, meant for. Uh, I don't. I well, think a lot of the, the other characters just end up as cameos rather than playable, like a lot of the uh, the old ones. But I haven't played Cold Steel, so someone who has will have to correct me. Say those. I mean, they 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 don't really they don't they only cameo in the beginning of Cold Steel, but towards the end it kind of becomes a uh, Trails All Stars. So, like Trails of Cold Steel Four is basically like the climax of every previous arc, including Cold Steel. Including the arc everyone the comes back. Yes, including Crossbell, which is only available in fan translations because it took too long for them to. By the time they got Sky out and they were ready to go for Crossbell, they're like, "Well, sorry, PSP's dead now." Yeah, but it's all on PC now, isn't it? Or is well, Crossbell they not? They can't. They can't release Crossbell on PC because a Chinese company has exclusive rights to it. Oh. As far as PC goes. Fuck damn China. Yeah, so... Well, no, they have exclusive rights to this, the second game. Oh. Which means they're like, they, they could release the first game, but it would only be the first game, so you wouldn't know how it ended. Well, I guess we'll just have to hope nothing important happened in those two games. I'm pretty sure they're gonna remake it, because, like, with reused assets from 3 and 4, you could basically just remake the entire game. This is true. A lot, well, a lot of the, a lot of tri co a lot of Cold Steel three and four takes place in that area, so like they did the assets anyway. I mean, with with the fact that they got popular more uh, more popular recently in the West, they wouldn't be surprised. Not like super popular, but you know more. Please uh, care now. Doing better than some other JRPG series that people might like. Rip in peace, breath of fire. Yeah. Alarms. Yeah, well, Breath, um, of, Breath of Fire Breath. killed itself with the, with that one game, though. To be fair, I think it was uh, the PS2 in, game. Oh, you mean Dragon Quarter? I think it was just sort of. I think the problem was is like, so it's it's like back in the sort of nineties, uh, JR. It's quite easy to crank out JRPGs because like you're being funny. You don't really need to design a whole lot of assets, and you can stretch them out to these like you know big forty fifty hour games. Yeah, but, like. When you get to PS2 era and suddenly everyone's expect someone, everyone demands like full 3D models and voice acting and all that shit, and it's like it drastically increases the cost of a JRPG from about the same as a regular game to fucking like three times as much, I imagine. Yeah, no, it, it's it's really difficult. That's it's honestly, I mean, that's probably why what one of the reasons why they decided, hey, fuck it, let's just put um. Uh, was it uh, finally seven into like multiple episodes? That and also money. Yeah, and also money. I think they also said that it would be physically impossible to like remake all of Final it Fantasy. Would, it would. It wouldn't be impossible using, using HD assets without having to cut anything and put it in one game without taking like a ridiculous amount of budget and like taking like a decade. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. With budget, yeah, it would it would be really difficult with the, with uh, money money wise because it would be super expensive. Yeah. Like if they're if they're just saying flat out impossible, I was gonna be like, no, it's not impossible. It's just ridiculously expensive. It's not impossible. It's just improbable. Because a lot of take, a, a lot of the games, take like, it would also take like I think like five, five or six discs. I don't believe that. No, well. I don't believe that that line. That that's that's fake. <laughs> they said it would take multiple Blu-rays. They did, I think they just added that one more to be like, see, see, there's even more. It's not just one. It's not just the, well, I mean, the cost. I uh, mean, honestly, the basis of like just pure level of assets required. Assuming and that's just, and that's just the base game without even factoring in the new stuff they want to add. I wonder how uh, I do wonder how they can handle like the optional content like Vincent and Yuffie. Will they still be like technically optional, or they just be like, yeah, no, they're canon. No, they're, just gonna, they're, probably, they're probably just going to force you to get them. Which does mean Wu Tai is going to be a force quest. Like, um. I'm trying to think. I don't really have a problem with that, to be honest. There was, what was, oh, sorry, there, was some, 
there was some like RPG remake where like you know the optional characters were basically forced into the party because like well we have to have voice acting and stuff for them so they gotta be there. Was it one of the Final Fantasies? No, it wasn't. I don't remember what it is. Well, it wasn't a yeah. Persona game. No, it Persona wasn't has Persona no game. optional characters. It did in the first game, but the remake kept that. Nobody the played remake. the first game. I did. No, you didn't. I, <laughs> I played the lie. second game. If people, some people played the second game. Nobody's played the first. I played the first. No, you didn't. Stop lying. You could get it. You could get it on PlayStation Classic if you really want. I don't require getting the PlayStation Classic, though. I mean, it's the crap version that cut out half the game, but I mean, it's there. Well, there you go. You just have to emulate it on PSP like everyone else. Like, like, like a, like a uh, civilized person. Yeah. But, yeah. Civilized person as we play as I play Kirby. Well, Kirby's pretty civilized. You know, other than the whole, they stole my cake, now I'm gonna murder half the planet. What's wrong with that? Um, a lot of things? I'm sorry, they stole you my cake? Ugh. You don't know what the legal system of Dreamland is. I mean, you're right, I don't. Well, I don't know, I, they probably, I mean, considering DDD is self-appointed king, I don't even know if there is one. It's legally required that any theft of food is countered with planetary genocide. It's harsh, but fair. Like the T it's like me and my rewatching of TNG because I need background music while I grind through trails. It's okay, I'm finally on the good seasons now. I survived the shit that's one at seasons one and two. Now I just have to deal with the the you know once per season. Oh look, it's a Troy episode. Oh, which one is it? Is she getting fucked this episode, or is it as obnoxious mother? Oh, it's both. Great. Uh -huh. Sounds like a really sounds like a really uh, well-rounded character. Well, what the f what the fuck do you do with a counselor on a ship where everyone's perfect and happy and gets along fine? No, no, I know. We talked about this before. I just wanted to make fun. Stupid. Oh, but yeah, I just need good background music, background noise that I didn't have to pay, that I didn't feel that I wouldn't feel inclined to pay attention to. I should say. Because I might, like, if I put Batman on, I might go, Ooh, Batman! This is a good episode, I like this. Oh, this is an episode made by Acom! I'll have to check for all the animation errors. <laughs> all the animation errors. I mean... Remember, I remember uh, one thing that I, I heard when they were talking in the commentary, <laughs> one of the things where they are like, yeah, uh, when we were doing this, we had to explain to them that Batman doesn't have the power to fly, because in Japan, if a character has a cape, it means that they can fly. Well, I didn't think Acom was Japanese. I thought Acom was Korean. Oh, I, well, uh, I don't know if it was Acom, but one of the uh, studios did that. Ah. Because uh, I remember uh, Bruce Tim was talking about it in one of the commentary tracks. He's like, oh, so there's Superman. Gotcha. It's like Tom can't fly. That's the only one we know. This was this was back in the nineties, so like that that could that's probably changed now, but that's how it was back then. But yeah, uh, that man can't fly. He can't have over breathe in space. I mean, he can fly. He just needs his jetpack. Look, piss baby jetpack. But man, uh, God. Oh right, that was the, that's something to mention. Uh, they, I did hear about a thing that Arrowverse is doing. Arrowverse? Yeah, oh, the CW crisis. stuff. Yeah. Well, who they have you heard about? Who they cast as the future Batman? Uh, no. Conroy, right? It's Kevin Conroy. I mean, they're bring. I mean, they're bringing in everyone, so it's not that they're bringing in freaking Burt Ward and Linda Carter. All right, Burt Ward is still alive. Yes, he's still alive. Yeah. Let's let's but, let's put it this way: if Adam West was still alive, it, he'd be Batman there too. Would be him. I mean, he'd just but be there not. as Adam as TV's Adam West, though. Yeah, isn't like Mark Hamill also gonna play like a live action Joker? Which I'm just like, uh, really him? Wait, he's the fucking trickster. 
No, he played live action Trickster, but then he disappeared because they were filming the Star Wars prequels or sequels, yeah. whatever. Now we're not buffering with. Now he. Uh, he's probably and, wrapped up. And, what then they yeah. and then they just kind of gave up. Okay, Star Wars makes no money. Oh yeah, uh, no, 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 they're not making, they're not ma not making money. They're subverting um, financial, financial expectations. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, I died. I mean, Dark Phoenix was so bad it actually lost Fox and Disney money. So, I mean, let me pretend to be surprised. That's saying something. That's saying something about Star Wars. Yeah, but Solo lost the money. No. Solo lost them a lot of money because they shot it twice. Yeah, because that's they why hired... Dark Phoenix lost the money because they shot it like three times. Yeah, yeah, because was it? They they apparently changed the ending because apparently the ending was too similar to Captain Marvel's ending, the original ending that we we, we will never see. What is yeah, the original shot? ending is apparently she flies into space and destroys the ships, and then fly and then flies off uh, to explore. Like, so the what does it end with? Like, what does it end with her getting killed? Because they kind of ends, ends, with, ends with her supposedly blowing herself up to save everyone from the not scrolls, but then like, oh, but wait, she might be alive in the sequel. But there isn't well... going to be one, so. <laughs> this is, this is, the biggest problem with Dark Phoenix is that it, sends, it spends a lot of its time setting up a sequel that you know going into the movie isn't going to happen. Isn't going to happen because. Because they got bought out by Disney. Okay, now you can just enjoy your month, but your monthly Disney movie. It's also it's also the first movie like they have completely they have nothing to do with Wolverine whatsoever. Uh, Which about help. Apocalypse. He cameoed. Is he? Oh right, yeah. yeah. I keep forgetting. Like first class, at first class in Apocalypse, he at least made a cameo. Here, it's like not even anything. He get, he's done. He's, he's like. Done. He was like, spent he's sick and tired of having to get in shape for that for like five minutes of screen time. He almost cameo, but they decided not to bother with him. I mean, he could have because, like, at that point, he's still alive. But they were like, no, no, it's all right. So, so, what was it? Actually, I just kind of wanted to say real quick because I was thinking of the Wolverine thing. I, I, I've, I think I, I don't know if I mentioned this before in recording, but I, I've grown to just. Iron Man, uh, Tony Stark Iron Man has, has gone from that character that I just was okay with to a character I just absolutely fucking hate now. Mm -hmm. And I th was thinking to myself if it was because he's just, you know, like everywhere. So because of, of that. And then I thought about it. I was like, wait, no. Because I don't hate, um, like, uh, I don't hate Wolverine. And I think it's just because not only is Iron Man everywhere, but they then have him retcon other characters to make Iron Man more important. Yeah, at the end of the day, Wolverine never, like, turned out to be the father of Legion, or... Like, for example, like, like with this, like... Okay, so Wolverine, the one retcon he got was, oh yeah, he fought in World War II, and him and Cap were friends. Th they were just friends. It wasn't like, oh, I taught Captain America everything he knows about fighting. Without Captain Amer without me, Captain America would be nothing. I studied all your moves. Oh, I know, sorry, that's Taskmaster, my bad. Like... Like, if it, like, versus, say, like, the, the fucking Peter Parker thing, where it's like, oh, yeah, I taught him literally everything. I gave him his suit. Um, everything was me, other than the web shooters. We let him keep those. Ah, well. I mean, I don't disagree, but, like... And then even, like, stuff like, like, S.H.I.E.L.D.'s creation is linked to his family. Like, and then I thought about it, and, and I want you, because you were more of a fan of him, of the character, than I was. Yeah. What lore does Tony Stark even have that they could have pulled from? Um, you mean aside from Demon in a Bottle? Yes. The, see the storyline where he got pissed drunk and killed some people. Very, yeah, very little. Uh, Arbor Wars. The, uh, the storyline where he went crazy and decided to beat uh, all of his enemies who were using his stolen technology half to death. Um, or the Mandarin, which is very, very racist. Yeah, well, the man, there's, there's Mandarin. I mean, there's a bunch of like, there's a bunch of random. Oh, I'm that was, that was the big, the biggest problem is they didn't want to use, they didn't want to use the Mandarin. They didn't want to use like him being a raging, angry alcoholic. They didn't want to use. Uh, we could have used Fin Fang Foom at least. So yeah, the giant so, like, evil the, space dragon. Ironically, the close, the only, the only thing closest to his story was Civil War. Well, surely the closest would be, like, Ironmonger. 
Well, then again, I guess Stain is like complete because in the original one, um, Stain is like a rival who what who buys out Stark Industries when he's like pissed drunk. Yeah. And then builds the Iron Monger suit, and then Stark, here, and then Tony. Here he's just he's just his vice president who wants to kill him because he's jealous that Tony Stark is smarter than him. And has and is the head of the company. Yeah, yeah. Because what literally happens in the original? Every, what happens in the original? Every villain. Because that's the story where like. Rogan yeah, and comes also Iron all of the uh, reveal so far revealed uh, Peter Parker villains because you know I gotta give him the, uh, Tony Stark. So, but yeah. I mean, apart I get, from. I mean, to, I mean, to Vulture's credit, I mean. Tony Stark was only slightly involved there. It is, but yeah, I can only think of those two major Iron Man storylines. But you could have had him fight Doctor Strange. Remember when he battled Doctor Strange? When did that happen? It's not. Yeah, the, I, it's not the Doctor Strange you're thinking of. It's, it was. It was like the <laughs> original Doctor Strange. It's some random. <laughs> Random evil Asian scientist guy called Doctor Strange. But yeah, I was thinking about it, it's like, Tony doesn't really have anything. He doesn't really have any real lore to him. And it's just, path it just feels pathetic. It feels like this is like the Tony Stark fan fiction. Like, Tony Stark himself was thinking about like, what all the other heroes have done and their legacy. And he's like, wow, I ain't got shit! And then just took, like, hijacked all of Spider-Man's, because Spider-Man has done so much. So, you know, why not just steal from him? This guy. Color Strange. Oh. <laughs> He's... Like, Tony Stark is officially that guy to me. He is that guy. I mean, it is a sort of... I mean, I, I, yeah. I, 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 I can't say if it's, it's entirely because... They just wanted to prop Tony more, or if it's more that they didn't want to do Spider-Man's origin a third time, especially when they knew that they were never going to be able to do it as good as the first movies. Here's the, here's the thing, though. Again, going back. Uh, so they gave Tony Stark to a connection to the creation of S.H.I.E.L.D. They gave him a, his family a connection to the creation of the fucking uh, Captain America S.H.I.E.L.D. Made Ultron. They've... Yeah, he made Ultron. So it's not just like it's been like one or two things. They've given him so much. Well, like... And I think the other the other thing is that at the end of the day, Wolverine is ultimately going to be linked with X Men. Like, yeah. they're sort of almost inseparable. The yeah. like, but was but like, it's not. Like, but like, to give you an idea of like something that's different, like as much as like Batman and Wolverine are everywhere, they've never hijacked anybody's fucking origin, other than that one fucking movie where there's like we both have Martha as a name, but that's whatever. Why did you say that name? But like, it's they didn't do like a thing where it's like, oh yeah, um. Like, it's actually easier to do with saying Superman making Batman the word, and it's funnier that way, but... So we're just gonna do that. It's not like they are just retconned it to where Batman didn't... Like, like the, fa the family is, like, implied to be dead, but whatever, he doesn't seem to care. But he's, like, Superman's ward. And then, like, Superman... We, they did a Death of Superman storyline, and then he becomes Batman. It's like, hey, look, he developed. But he's still, like, obsessed over the whole shadow of Superman. There was this like, like one... it's also funny. It's also funnier to do Batman because more people will get annoyed if, you, if I switch it to Batman than if I did Superman. There was this like one day uh, a couple weeks back where I just did nothing but sort of make jokes on the "Do you bleed? You will." Bit. It's like it's... just imagine Batman in the cafeteria on the, the Watchtower. Do you feed? You will. <laughs> do you? Do you have a need? Do you they're want just, some weed? They're just, uh, no, they're at, the, they're at the movie theater. You're gonna see Creed. You will. Uh, <laughs> it's just, it's just one of those things where it's like such a fucking up the hop, like bad line, but it's the only saving grace of the movie. Uh, the only saving grace of the movie is just how bad it is and how funny it is to just quote it. I mean, it's not, no, that's the thing. There's only like the good quotes to only like specifically for bat, only specifically for Batman. Everyone else's quotes are <sighs> meh. They're not nearly as funny. Can you think of anything Lex Luthor said that, like, actually? Oh wait. No. Yeah. No, was... no, I got nothing. I wasn't even gonna wait. I wasn't even. Gonna... I thought. I thought for like a second. It was like, nope. There's nothing. I mean, you could at least think of one thing from Superman Returns. 
Uh, that... I mean, Superman Returns, you can get, get a good chunk yeah, out yeah, of Yeah, 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 yeah. My favorite quote from Superman Returns is, well, I guess I'm living life as a gay man now. Well, speaking uh, of Superman wrong! Returns... Oh, uh, and don't forget, every, the, the, the meme one. WRONG! Mm, but yeah, Superman Returns, say that, go. Yeah, so he guess, guess who else is going to be in Crisis? Ray Palmer? Brandon Ruth Superman. Oh. Wait, but he's Ray Palmer. Ray Palmer. I'm gonna say, oh. but he, people, people are like, but he's it. He's in the show anyway. Yes, but he's also playing an alternate Superman now. Oh, that's gonna be awkward. Are they yes, gonna have to digitally shrink his package again? Maybe. Because <laughs> I remember that was a thing. Well, no, no, no. They can't. They can't use the suit from the movie for some reason because it's. I guess it's like copyrighted or something. That will have probably been probably been destroyed by now. So yeah, so like, because so like he's he's playing Superman, but not the Superman from Superman Returns. So he's a diff. He's not Deadbeat Dad Superman. He, he's Superman, but not as you know it. Not as you know it. Not yes. as we know it. He's Superman, but not as we know it. Not as we know it, Jim. Basically. By the way, they, by the way, they're Klingons on the Star Wars <coughs> Thanks. Basically, they're just they're just. I think they're just bringing over anyone who's ever played a DC character who's still alive. Well, as many as they can get their hands on. Well, or is that they want to acknowledge? So you know, no Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern. Oh, right. I did watch. Under acknowledge, your te acknowledge Terry McGinnis, you fucking cowards. Oh, under your recommendation, I did watch Batman vs. the MNT. Ah, okay. It what was, did you think? It was okay. Mm -hmm. I really liked it, but I was also a big fan of Turtles. So uh, I was too. a bit. I was a bit. Uh, I don't know. It was a bit like so. All the like Gotham villains just being closet fairies, I guess. Yeah, why not? Sure, I'll buy it. I always had my suspicions about some of them. Also, like Shred also with Shredder, I just kept wishing it was Uncle Phil, even though I knew it was impossible. It's impossible. Yeah, He's gone. We've lost him. I know. He's gone forever. I mean, it's not my. F I I guess the problem is I also don't have. That much, that many memories of TMNT. Like, if it was opposed to Transformers, where I can quote you a whole bunch of dumb, stupid Transformers shit. I think Uncle Phil also did a character in the original Transformers. Yeah, probably. I can't think who, though. I mean, it wasn't a major one. I mean, like, I guess, I guess like, before, before he was cast in Bel Air, I guess he just did cartoon voices. I mean, probably wasn't someone important enough to get horrifically murdered in the movie. Pillowy no, mounds. I think, I think I think it was one of the aerial bots. Oh. Pillowy mounds of mash. Those guys. Remember when yeah. the aerial bots showed up and they were like, "Man, those Decepticons are so cool, though." And then well, Silverbolt, their leader, is like, "Are you fucking for real, bitch? Are you for real?" And then they go back in time and find out the Constructicons made Megatron. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh. But hey, remember that time when the Constructor Cons were on Cybertron and palling around <laughs> with a Mega Supreme? And then Megatron, right, like... But... No, but I do I do remember when they were built on Earth. Yeah. I mean... Continuity in the old Transformers! It's perfect! I mean, Season 1's continuity was fine, it was just Season 2 where they were like, Oh shit, we're making money. We're not just making. I don't, I don't. I don't know why they're surprised, considering it was a. It was made to make toy, sell toys, to make money. Yeah. But well, that's the thing. Is season one has a lot of sort of actual care put into it because season one was half. Oh, that's usually. What ha that's actually what usually happens in those. It's like hell, like eighties turtles were like that. Well, it's more than the fact that like with um, Transformers, heart like a large chunk of its like backstory and lore was drafted by well, Marvel Comics people. Funnily enough, that's why there was a long-standing. Uh, thing with, Mon with Marvel and Transformers. So, Makes sense. No, but... I think literally what happened was like the like two, the CEOs of Marvel and like um, Hasbro both like met at a conference. And I think they're literally talking while they're at urinals, which is rather fitting considering what would happen. And he was explaining the situation. Well, we have all these toys. We got these like toys. We're trying to come up with a cartoon. And the guy was like, oh, we can help you with that. So, we'll I'll get some of my guys on it. And thus we got the law. But, uh... And then we had to bail Starscream's say. voice and out of jail again. Because uh, he was actually 
realistically and really Cobra Commander in real life. Whoa! If Cobra Commander was drunk and on drugs and pretty quick. So, so yeah, Cobra Commander. I mean, it can't be Cobra Commander because he got caught. Cobra Commander, Cobra Commander was always caught. He no, just got away. No, he, but yeah, this point he was never arrested. No, he was turned into a snake. Ah, uh, yeah, so he became. That's true. And then he did show up in Transformers once. Then he, showed it, up in like... and then, he, then he showed up in Transformers like 20 years later, who was like, apparently... Alright, to be fair, I think one of the, uh... One of the... One of the weird 90s G.I. Joe episodes did show him turning back into Cobra Commander, so... It is in continuity to a certain extent, but still. Yes, Old Snake, who is totally not Cobra Commander. Even though he sounds Wait. just like him. Even though he sounds just like, even though he sounds just like him, uses the tech uses the technology that was specifically used in several episodes of GI Joe, and almost does the battle cry before coughing instead. Yeah. Funny that. Cobra. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> I mean, you know, you know me. My favorite part, my favorite party bit of party trivia to bust out is always uh, Carbomia. Never forget. <sighs> Every goddamn time. I swear, we could put a, you could put like a fucking timer to when Transformers comes up to when he's gonna fucking bring up Carbomia. Carbomia. <laughs> I love Carbomia though. <laughs> we know you won't shut up about it. Ugh. Well, it's I mean, Carbomia every time! I mean, if I every time you again, you say Carbomia! Every goddamn time! Uh, well, I can't joke I can't joke about my other favorite play, favorite fictional Transformers plays, because now I really remember Sub Atlantica. I do. As opposed to as opposed to uh regular Atlantica. Yeah. Well, I mean regular Atlantica is where Namor lives, so who wants to go there? True. With its stupid little wing feet. Fucking Namor. What even is Namor's his muted power? The little wings on his feet. Oh. I'm not kidding. Just fucking muting. Namor is, gives mutants a bad name. He does. He also fits in the category of, uh... Of, of I wanna fuck Sue Storm, uh... Fantastic Four enemies. Which is like... Half of them. I don't even know why. This term isn't even that great. I mean, I guess if your option is the big rock man and the stretch and the stretchy uh, kind of or, like psychopath and Johnny Storm, but Johnny Storm's frequently dead, then she's... Johnny Storm's also her brother. Well, I just meant she's desirable by virtue of the fact that literally everyone else on the Fantastic Four is. Uh... Yeah, but there's other people in the Marvel universe. Like, come on. Like who? Go on, I'll wait. Wait, wh wait, what do you mean? I'll wait for you to name, what do you mean? name more people in the Marvel Universe. Wait, you mean just name characters in the Marvel Universe? Yeah, like sit here all yeah go. Name people who aren't oh, the Fantastic Four, I dare you. Oh god, you're right, there's no other people than the Fantastic Four. No. What the fuck are the X-Men? I mean... Alright, how, how about this? Name, name a character who isn't a Fantastic Four, an X-Men, or an Avenger. You see, that's actually impossible. Uh... Taskmaster. Uh. No, he was Avenger once. Oh, so we have yes, to, he have was. To... Oh no. Oh right. Um, so that's this. Hmm. Someone who's been, not been any of those three categories. That, that, that's actually Marvel's biggest issue is that pretty much all their characters are team characters. So it's kind of hard to do solo films. Well, that's why they've had the issue with like no women. Like after after two thousand with the new Avengers, everyone became an Avenger. Well, a lot of their books were made as team books, so, like, Wait. finding individuals are really hard. I know who's not a member of the Avengers. Don't and even ones that even ones that start off as single, honestly, their stories aren't even all that great, because, like, Iron Man started off as a single character, and he sucked. Doctor Strange is not a member of the Avengers. Uh... The original one? Carlo Strange, yes. Okay, fair enough. Oh, Stilt Man. Stilt Man. Lady Stilt Man. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Black Bolt has ever been an Avenger. He's in. The, he might have been an X Men though. And I think he's just an Inhuman, and I didn't say it because nobody knows or cares who the Inhumans are. 
I mean... So they don't care about him well, anymore now that they have the X-Men. It's because Black Belt doesn't do anything. He just sits, and sits on the moon and is like... He can't speak. Yeah, he can't speak. That's his gimmick. If he speaks, he kills things. He destroys everything. Yeah. But what the fuck does he do? He just sits on the moon. Stupid moon. Listen, but it's really tragic and cool and... It's a thing, yeah. You know who is Tragic Hero? Her Hercules. Go on. <laughs> Did you see that panel I linked you to? Oh yeah, I saw that. The <laughs> one where he Hercules fucks up so bad he knocks out off the hell carrier when trying to hit Godzilla. <laughs> like Godzilla is just amused and leaves because he's amused. Yeah. So like, say, but Hercules like lifts up a chunk of like the fucking uh, uh, what's it called the big uh, the Golden Gate Bridge or something. It's like a huge suspension bridge and throws it at Godzilla who just sort of dodges to the side. And it hits the fucking helicarrier and brings the whole thing down. Yeah, and Godzilla's just like they, have like... they have like a dozen of those. Yeah, but Godzilla's just like, wow, this is stupid and just fucks off. <laughs> I'll stop the beast! And Godzilla's just like... Oh, wow, All right, you need I'll... me for this. Anyway, bye! Godzilla's... Oh god, I don't need to- I don't need to fuck up New York. You already have a small Godzilla. Hate you, Hercules. Fucking Hercules. Her 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 fucking Hercules. Her Is he even still alive? Uh, probably. Probably. Does he do anything? Not really. Cause I mean, like he's in Marvel Ultimate Alliance too, so. I mean, lots of people were in Marvel Ultimate Alliance too. I mean, I'm just surprised they remembered him. I think at that point, I think they were just sort of fishing desperately for characters who weren't, like, hard aligned, or... Oh wait, no, he was aligned in Civil War, because I remember he had a big thing where he battled the Thor clone. Yeah, he was on... Yeah, yeah he, remember he, that he, fucking plot point? In fact, he, was, he, was ba he was basically the only powerful character on Captain America's side, so there's, there's really no reason why he couldn't have won. No, well, there was. It was called that Tony Stark made a clone of Thor. Yeah, but Hercules killed the clone. Uh, wait, did he kill the clone? I thought. Yeah. No, he, 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 I mean, well, I mean, they fixed it later, but yeah, in the final battle, he just, like, he steals his not mule deer and knocks his head off. And, uh, right, and then Thor comes back and is like, Tony, what the fuck? Yeah. Why, why'd you do What? Well, you see, because I turned into a fascist. <laughs> and then Tony was like, well, let me introduce you to my armor. It's called the Thor Buster. Oh, what's that meant to do? Kill you. Oh, okay. And then he beats him senseless. Just like all Buster armors, it's trash. Yeah, it Never was. Like, was. He, someone's like, how, Pro how did Cap? Lose because Civil it's because Tony Stark is. He had. It's because Tony Stark is garbage. He had Hercules, and Tony Stark had nothing of comparison. Tony Stark. Well, you s had... well, well, you see, uh, Tony Stark has alcohol problems, What's so the... that gives him uh, plus two to strength. It's because Cap gave up. That's the only reason. Oh, yeah, sure. He's like, all right, I surrender. Yeah, he's basically like, oh, I guess if this fight keeps going, you're just gonna keep killing a whole bunch of innocent people. Well, I could, uh, I'll give up. I'm just done with this stupid shit. Someone just kill me. Gladly. And then they bite shot him with the magic time bullet. It's so, it's okay because Tony Stark is such a heroic and good guy. Well, he took a stance against the against the symbol of fascism, Carol, but. He's like, wait a minute, Carol, I did this last time. It's, don't, don't do it. Do it. Uh, Morty, don't. This is why I love the uh, version of Avengers vs. X-Men, where it's just that one. Because let's be real, because let's be real. He was the fascist last time. It's not like, oh, he took a hardline stance. He's just the fascist who lost, who is out of power now, and is like, hey, maybe you shouldn't do it. Maybe. He's the fascist who was, like, who was like, oh, because I did this, it gave rise to Norman Osborn heading up S.H.I.E.L.D. Don't forget, that was a fucking plot point. Psych yeah. Psychotic that, that, murderer. That whole... That whole era, even before the Civil War of Marvel Comics, was fucking atrocious. That is basically the equivalent of, like, Joker gets to put in charge of Cadmus. Yeah. And puts up a whole bunch of supervillains in charge of the Justice League. Wait, did that actually happen? No, I'm saying it's the equivalent, because that's what happened in Civil War and uh, Dark Reign, where they make Norman Osborn the head of S.H.I.E.L.D., so he then creates the Wait, Dark yeah. Avengers. 
Well, yeah, because he shot the Skull, skull Queen, so that obviously means he's a good guy. With all of your favorite event, with all of your favorite characters, like Dakan. You remember him? Wolverine's obnoxious piss baby son. I like how he has this obnoxious piss baby son, and then he's got a clone daughter who everyone likes that came from a cartoon show. Why do they even keep Dakin around? So we can have an obnoxious piss baby. But nobody likes him! And then we had Matt Gargan like, as Venom, which I never really liked to begin with. And then he's the Zeus Bidray Man. Or Bullseye is Hawkeye, and it's like, well... I mean, I guess... I mean, I guess it works. Sure, whatever. Who the fuck even- sure. Oh, right! And then the best one, Harry Osborn as American Son. Who was only part of the Dark Avengers team because Norman Osborn planned to assassinate him to make the public sympathetic towards him. <laughs> Jesus. You almost admire parenting that, like that. That, that. that whole era of Marvel was just fucking atrocious, man. Well, uh, it's okay. The good time, the good times ended long ago. The only, the only thing that was good in that that set was like the Avengers Academy series, which they eventually just killed all the characters in. And, well, no, they ended it, and then they had that. They uh, took a bunch of them and did that fucking uh, Hunger Games ripoff storyline where they killed off a number of them. To be fair, the guy who made it was very well versed in the characters and didn't do anything stupid, like take the like to make a comic cover where the girl in the hazmat suit has to be in that because she's radioactive, like a comic cover of her in a bikini, even and just age her up to eighteen real quick just to make it okay, quote quote. But she still had her helmet on. That's clearly how she contains it. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. You're mad. I mean, I am, but that's besides the point. And I don't think they've ever used those characters again, either. Probably not. They were, like, a good batch of new characters, too, which is something I was like, hey, they needed a batch of new characters. Nope! Let's get rid of them. Oh, well, comics like, are a dead medium anyway. They were brand new characters, something that they fucking needed for, like, newer readers, and nope, we just got rid of them. They're dead. Haha. <laughs> In or, either dead or we're just not going to use them anymore. Ha 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 ha! Hee hee ho! Don't you take the Kingdom Hearts route where you just keep introducing characters, but then they never do anything. Uh, unless their name is uh, Riku, Sora. I mean, to be fair, Riku, but... Riku does fuck all in Kingdom Hearts three. Yeah, pretty much. Like he is. I'm talking about in the series. I'm talking about in the series as a whole. Oh yeah, I know. But I just mean in Kingdom Hearts three. It's like all, all the talk of we need to go and get these seven guardians of light. The entire like, and just, point it, of the game. It, it's just Sora. And literally, Sora does everything. And you're like, oh, Riku's maybe playable in this one scene. Maybe he does something. No. Nope. No. Nope. Bye, Riku. Oh. No, only Sora. And then there was the one time where they all died. And then, no, you silly Billy, it's a Kingdom Hearts game. Nobody actually does. And then they reverse time, so then Green Will can shop and then never shop again. Yeah, how did that, how did that happen again? It's like, Lingering Will chases off Terra North, and then all of a sudden Terra North shows up with the the other guys still in their cloak. <laughs> so apparently, apparently, even though Lingering Will took him off in the ultimate uh, in the opposite direction, he chased him off, somehow got to the other cloaked guys before everyone else and put his cloak back on. Nano machine, son. Oh, God. That last part of the game really bothered me. I mean, it's because the problem is the entirety of the game is just sort of, let's go, let's go to the realm of darkness. No. Like, it's all building up to just doing this to, it's all like, the entire game is sort of pointless up until the final bit, and then it's all just so sort of packed in for that entire, like, last three, like, two hours, three hours. I mean, it's the, almost I mean like most, the... Of the worlds, most of the worlds were fun, except for Frozen. It's, but, you know. it's, it's actually the exact same problem Final Fantasy XV has. Where there's so much meandering in like the vast majority of the game that by the time you get to the end game, they have to be like, oh shit, everything has yeah, to be the... super front loaded. They probably kept a lot of Nomura's stuff for that game. Uh, for a 15, I mean. Possibly. Considering the, me the, the meandering. Like I said, I don't especially think that there probably was this, like, uh, huge, I don't think there was pro there was this, like, huge 
grand plan for, well, uh, Kingdom Hearts, well, for Final Fantasy XV in the way that they're told. I think it would have just been like the more bump, like the more having the characters bumble around and then kind of almost. And then the big bad shows up. Yeah. It's like, oh, there's a plot now. Uh, oh, really? All right. Uh, yeah. All right. This this like weird guy who's been following us around and like making vague allusions to being evil. See, at least they tried to pretend that Alan Richard wasn't evil. It doesn't help that he's got his slick back blonde hair and he's walking around with his ball katana. And... <laughs> oh, you, just, you just remembered Alan Johnson. Alan no, no, just, just because you called it the mall katana, it just made me lose my shit. <laughs> it is. I mean, you're not wrong! Oh, just wait. <laughs> Oh no, why? What's coming? I mean, I know we've got Lawrence who's now like, he's now revealed that he is Bishy, and probably... Well, 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 no, it's just, it's just that like, all of the Katana users and Trails follow the same school of the Eight Leaves, One Blade, which is like this super, like, special anime style oh, swordsmanship that's the, school that's that the thing. only... Yeah, that's the thing that Cassius did. Yeah, and What's-Her-Face uses it. Uh, yes. Annalise. Annalise. She's invincible, or is she? Yes. When you said yes like that, I was just thinking of Fred Redburger. I'm sorry. Well. Yes. So yes. Well, no, wait. It's not a katana. It's a tachi. Whatever. It's a Japanese. Yes. It's a weep sword. Well, no, because they're always like, it's a tachi. Well, because every time they're like, it's a tachi. That must mean they're an eight leaves user. Oh. That comes up a lot. Maybe they're just yes. really like Naruto. Look, it's Itachi. He's gonna <laughs> he's gonna deep throat us with a crow. Finally. Hooray. Finally deep throating with crows. My fetish! Someone's fetish. Someone's probably. Fetish. Everything is somebody's fetish. But yes. I'm not even saying that'd be funny. And then there was, and then there was surprise. They had a um, and surprise there was a giant robot at the end. It's like, well, but I want to Gundam. Well, you gotta wait a little while. Build uh, up to Gundams. Why? Just have them shut up. Because they're they're developing their orbital technology. Fuck the orbals. It's like the Crossbell games where they invent the internet. Internet for porn. Or the Orbal Net. Oh yeah, the Orbal Net. Well, I'm only like on Ruan, so the Ruan section of second chapter so far. I'm going to find the White Ghost. White Who ghost. I suspect is not a ghost. Or maybe he is. No, I maybe don't he think is. he's a ghost. This is not a ghost, it's old man Smithers. Yeah, he's right, he's, he's gotta be an old man in the costume. <laughs> and I gotta what? would've gotten away with it too, it wasn't for you meddling kids and that pole arm shoved in my crotch! Surely, Ow! surely it'd be the me <laughs> you meddling kids and your dumb hawk. And just see you <laughs> Oh yeah, cause, oh, cause they just have her there with, with her bird. Yeah. Good old Sieg. I mean, that's pretty much what happened in that plot. Or less. Like in, in that in the 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 mayor, the mayor chapter, I would have got away with it too. It wasn't for you meddling kids in your fucking bird. <laughs> and also, you know, the giant fuck off battleship that you're totally not gonna get at some point. No, that helped. Having just an entire platoon of heavily armed guards on a on a skyship. Uh -huh. Where the fuck were they when those dogs were attacking? Hell. It would have been real fucking hiding. awkward if the princess had died right there, <laughs> wouldn't it? Yeah, kinda. So I guess the implication is that Joshua could have done could have handled everything pretty easily. He just chose not to. Because he's oh, secretly in the first game. In, in yeah. the first game? Yeah. Well no, because he did he didn't remember his secret assassin skills until the oh, end. Alright. Right, right, right. And they were like, oh right, by the way. It only comes up like later. 
uh, and like you see like bits and pieces of it like for example in the mayor's thing when he's like makes his fucking death threat the mayor's like yeah if you touch her i'm going to literally murder you i mean he makes like, josh what constant big illusions to i wait i thought he did remember his past because he's like i can't i'm not gonna tell you my past because it's because it's, i don't want to tell you i don't want to tell you uh, i don't think he knew I mean, he didn't. I thought the whole reveal was that he didn't know he was spying on Cassius. He was. He knew all of the actual past, but he thought he was free. Whereas the mental conditioning was that he would forget that uh, all the times he passed information off. I don't know. It gets really confusing with parts like that. The society is very confusing. But they're, pro they're, they're probably not the best part of trails. I mean, well, I can't even decide on the fucking name of their society. Are Rob or Ross? Dan gets that joke. I got it. Parents must have been illiterate. <laughs> but yeah, I ain't liking trails so far. So does this mean I'm forgiven for Gaius? Mm. Put you on probation. Yay. To be fair, I know plenty of people who like are, at least you have the decency to not like Gaius. I'm like, I know I'm like, I know it didn't turn out so great in the end. I thought it would. But like everyone else, I I, I know a lot a lot of people like I, or like a friend of mine is like it's a good drama. I'm like no, it's not. Yeah, it's I've really had that. Hard. Yeah, I've had that before. Like a couple of my friends are like, well, of course you don't like it because you don't you were watching it for a mech series. But like, well, I don't like it because it's written like shit. The mechs I mean, are really. I mean, I found it entertaining, but I'm not going to claim that it's like you know masterful writing. But I mean. I just didn't appreciate what I'm saying. Like, well, of course you didn't like. It. You're watching it because you like robots. You're what? what I'm like, 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 yes, like, it's bad, but I still like it anyway. Well, that's fine. You can like what you like, and I won't judge you much. To your face. At least I didn't say Gurren Lagan. Yeah. Oh yeah, they also like Gurren Lagan. Yeah, but... like, it's, I... I don't even hate Gurren Lagann, but the problem with the problem I have with Gurren Lagann is, and I, I think you will appreciate this, is that everything that people love uh, love and were like so, oh my god, that was in this show. It's like it's all stuff I've seen before, and by the time I'd seen Gurren Lagann. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm the same way. So it's I like can't it, say I hate it's it. an okay show. I don't hate it. I mean, you can even say it's probably good in places, but it's like if the entire thing was, oh look how cool and wacky and neat and awesome it was, it's like well, it's just, just sort of repeating a bunch of stuff I've already seen. It's like, oh look, they got yeah, Nobu Yukiyama I... to be a like, guy. It's like, well, you know Guy Shishio, though. Well, all his characters can't be Guy Shishio. This is true, sometimes they can be Ling. Or Ga- Or, or, he or Hero. Or Maito. Remember, he... Remember when he was in Bleach? Wait, who was he in Bleach? He was the bald guy. Oh, he cock it. Is that his name? Yeah, that was the name. one who's like, I have a bunker, but I'm not going to tell anyone because I, I really like my captain. Yeah, and then like, the I don't want to be a captain. And then because his captain was like, haha, I've now tripled my power because I'm using two hands on my sword. You know, as bad as Bleach was, Kenpachi and his whole division were kind of entertaining. Well, that's the problem: is that they're all part, they're all systematic of the good season of Bleach, which is Soul Society. Like no one could say Soul Society was a bad or Soul Society was a bad season. It was a bad it was bad. Like it was pretty good. Everyone liked it. It's just and then they did it again. Like Kui Komundo is literally just Soul Society. As as it went along I started to not like it and I, I quit uh, during Soul Society. Uh, it's just the pro I think the thing is it's like I was actually having this argue, this talk with someone because a friend of mine's gotten into JoJo recently, and he's like, he got massive disappointed because he just finished like part three, you know, end of JoJo you know, jo versus Dio fight, and then he's also watching Super, and then he's just seeing like Jiren, and he's just like heartbroken. Jiren is pretty well, is a is a heartbreaker. Well, like, he really is. I I think I tried to explain to him the problem you have is Araki is like does sort of this sort of wacky action. But it's like all, all like seven moves ahead kind of thing, and, and like that was his sort of thing from the get go. Is he was gonna do like 
action, like these sort of action set pieces style segments. Whereas Toriyama is, at the end of the day, a, a guy who likes to write comedy and stupid stuff. And like not being, yeah. And it's kind of the biggest downfall of Dragon Ball is it got popular for the wrong reasons, as pretentious as that sounds. Well, I guess the better it's way to describe it is it's, everyone it's because they, it's because it got popular over here with the action stuff first. Yeah. Rather so then, than, uh, and you know the comedy stuff that it was known for because you know it's like oh it's a comedy show that eventually, eventually translated it that eventually you know was moved when he grew up to action stuff and whereas everyone says like it's ripped guys shooting fireball at each other what he was never a kid there's no comedy well and that's the thing just, just i mean there was co- hold on there was co- there, there, there was comedy in the in Dragon no Ball, but i mean but what like he's saying is like when z was out here it was that was the the thing everyone gravitated to was the action above all else that was like that was the big thing for the kid for kids back in our day yeah no, nobody liked the episodes where people weren't punching each other and the pro- but the problem is, is Toriyama's not good. I, I I liked them even as a kid. That's the funny thing. But like, I, like I I lo- love that shit. Yeah, but the vast majority, a lot of the people didn't or didn't care for it. Oh yeah, because they oh you, you can usually tell based on if they uh, complain about the Saiyan Man saga. Because but what I'm saying is the problem is Toriyama is not an action writer, and I don't and he think he clearly doesn't uh, enjoy he, it. R- r- he d- he's really good at, like action illustrations though, like his illustration work and um. And he's like just framing in the manga were really no, good. Yeah, it's he's good. good. It's good. He's, it's good until it basically turned into throwing a bigger fireball at somebody. He's a good. He's a good artist, and he has a lot of good, like sort of illustrative powers. Yes. The problem is, he's just really bad at choreography and scripting for action sequences, and also for making use of his character. Like, oh no, his no, his action sequences like in the manga were actually really good. The way that they were. Um... Like the, the way that they were illustrated and everything. Yeah. I'm not talking. I'm not talking about like the elf. I just mean in sort of a general sense, because it's not his. No, I mean like the, they would they would uh, have like the panels like even like with the way the action would flow through the panels, it would like f- have your eyes move to each uh, each panel no, yeah. where the action was. No, yeah. I just mean in the actual. It's like okay, so it's like you can take like a fight scene in a film, right? Yeah. There's a difference between a fight scene being well choreographed and being well shot. Okay, I see what you're saying. So it's like, yeah, you can... You can, you can also be Batman Begins where it's neither. Yeah, but I'm, it's like, okay, take the famous thing from Return of the Jedi where Luke kicks the, kicks the air. And it's like, choreography speaking, that's a fine shot. That's fine. It's just it was shot from a bad angle. Or he kicks the air and the guy like goes, oh no, he kicked the air in my general direction. That has stunned me into falling backwards. And that's the case of it being... has a giant purple space bazooka, and he fires at the guys who... They happen to jump before it hits them. Oh, wait. I mean... But yeah, so it's like... But Toriyama, is, as I said, at his heart, he's a comedy guy. He likes comedy. He prefers comedy. And so when he has to do, like, big serious things, that's where it all starts to fall apart. I will say though, uh, like I said, like we were, I mean we've talked about that a hundred times, and we talked about like the reason why Broly is decent is because he was like, oh, I do need an editor after all. Even th- though you think he would have figured it out with Boo Saga being a fucking mess, because Boo Saga was a fucking mess. Oh god, I hated the Boo Saga. I mean, yeah, Boo Saga is where he uh, didn't really have an editor anymore. Well, he had one, but they just let. But it was a new guy who just let him do whatever the fuck he wanted. It's just like more transformations and more people trying and failing to fight him, and finally, finally, just like, oh right, this is going on long enough. Okay, he's done. Okay, uh, Goku's back. Uh, Spirit Ball. There we go. We're done. Well, the I was just like, why did the Spirit Ball work? Like they blew him up a million times and it never stuck before. Why did it stick this time? Except for the fact that they were tired of. Because this one was the bigger, because this was the strongest attack. I mean, they already he got more energy. By they, the already, they already literally turned him into smoke, and he healed from that. So it's well. No, this was stronger. It had a bigger number. That, that's that's why that's the that's the way you just refer to anything in Dragon Ball now. It was stronger. It's not worth the grammar. You you right. Oh god, I just found one of those feral hogs. I just killed it. Oh no, another feral hog! 
More feral hogs! <laughs> ah! There's so many feral hogs! Meanwhile, you have Araki, who's like, who's sort of, even from the get-go, is like, okay, so all the action, like, basically every action scene's gonna, or every sort of action a character does is gonna have some level of, like, reason behind why they do it, or explanation, or commentary on. Except Polner, if he's just trash. I mean, there are people commented on Pol Polner, commented on his, what he was doing all the time, it's just... It's just, well, it was generally like, no, not really. No one com commented on the fact, like, hey, Polner, have you literally, the only person who ever com commented on it at all was, like, Kakyoin the first time he killed Abdul. No, no, they point, like, there's a point where Polner was like, haha, I can launch my sword like a, like a dart. It's like, wait, you can do that? When do you, you can never do that again? No. Hey, remember that time where Star Platinum could, like, extend its fingers to poke you? Oh, yeah, he, an ability he used one time. Yeah. I mean, I guess when you can stop time, it doesn't super matter. Well, that was the thing my yeah. friend really liked about versus Dio, though, is like how it, even though it's sort of silly, it, there's clearly like sort of just steps of like Jotaro trying to think like three moves ahead because you've got to compensate for time skip or yeah, well, I call it time skip, but it's not well though. Yeah, the uh, yeah, he had to, for the time stop. Yeah, and it's like yeah, yeah, he stops magazines, he stops magazines in his hat, but you know, it's not quite the level of cartoonish shit that uh, Joseph did. No. <laughs> Joseph is basically a Looney Tunes character. I, I love Joseph Joestar. I, I love part two. It's so good. He is the best. He is the best Joestar, I feel. Yeah, I agree. Uh, then it, probably my next favorite would probably be uh, Joe Sky. Yeah, I agree. Then Joe Road, then Jorno. Uh, yeah, when I see uh, part uh, four, I'll not four, th uh, five. I'll comment on Jorno. Well, just remember, he's Jorno Giovanna, and he has a dream. He wants to become a gangster. You mean a monster? They're not monsters. They're monsters. Ah, we both went the exact same joke. I mean, I've been thinking about ever since I heard monster, uh, gangster. I thought about the monsters. So you know. And then you can have all the fun of trying to figure out how the fuck gold experience work. Cause Isn't that like half of the, the things in that that one? It's like, how's this work? Uh, it's mostly gold experience in King Crimson. Isn't like gold experience basically the car's ability of just making shit? It's like car's ability mixed with, um... It mixed with, uh, Crazy Diamond's ability. Or it's a uh, mix with the healing ability. Yeah, it's officially put as like, oh, he breathes life into objects, which translates to he can turn a not which means it translates to he can turn something into a, into a biological creature, or like a chunk of flesh that's been missing, or his own foot. Yeah, gold experience is kind of dumb. It sounds pretty fucking overpowered. I mean, there's li literally it's just a fight. Is a fight where, between him and a stand, where it's literally just stand takes a chunk out of him, he just puts it right back. But well, I'm dead. well yeah, I mean the real problematic stand of part five is uh, uh, purple haze because they can only ever use it once. Because it was a really bad idea as to what purple haze's power was. Purple Haze's, uh, power? Purple Haze's power is it has these like capsules on its knuckles, and inside those capsules is a deadly, deadly virus. And anyone, even its user who is near the Purple Haze when those capsules explode, basically dies in like seconds. So it's that thing where like ah. Purple Haze is fucking bullshit overpowered. Good thing it's only ever used once. Moody Blues is more or less useless, though. That's, uh, Herbal uh, And I'm gonna guess it doesn't have that same weakness of, like, Okiyasu's, where Okiyasu's a bleeding idiot. Oh, no, Fugo's quite smart. It's just that the one time it shoots, it's up against a guy who's got a really weird stand. You know, the usual... Oh, no, I saw, I saw, I, yeah, I was talking about the, the, the Purple Experience thingy. Oh. Uh, no, Purple Haze is also used. Purple Haze. Yeah, Purple Haze is used by a guy who knows more or less what he's doing. It's just he doesn't like using it because it's just super, super fucking lethal. So all it does is kill. 
You know, it's funny because I wasn't supposed to be like uh, how you, violent you are is how powerful your thing is. So why is his so powerful? Well, they, they are gangsters. Or like your fight, or your, I mean, yeah, but if he doesn't want to kill people. Well, you see what I'm saying? He doesn't want to kill himself. Oh, kill himself. Yeah, okay. When you said lethal, I thought. Purple Haze will kill him if he's near. Him. Okay. And Purple Haze doesn't have that much range. Yeah, it's, it's once again, it's a stand where it's like a whole bunch of stupid shit went into it. And it was, uh, they decided, and yeah, it's not used anywhere near as much as the easier to use ones like Aerosmith is. Aerosmith is just a plane. It's literally just like a little plane that she flies around. I mean, like, what was it? A lot of the powers that they typically used in Part 3 were always the simple ones. Emerald Splash. He has Splash. other abilities with that, and he all, all he ever does is Emerald Splash. I mean, he, does, he has other I mean, abilities that, that are I mean, more he, useful. He, I, mean, he does, he I mean, he does surround and deal with it, but, you know, it doesn't work because... So well, though. Tokyo Tomare. Remember that ability he had in this, his appearance where he had that weird thing with paint paint and like uh, where he could like affect things with what he's drawing and they never did that again or brought it up again? Well, I think because there's apparently a, like one of the prototype things for the world was the world didn't have time stop. It had the powers of literally every other stand. So the idea was it had access to Joseph's stand ability as well. well just, and and then the, around. Change Dio's powers at like every time. Well, it's just because, uh, oh yeah, that was, that was kind of the problem with the uh, early JoJo, but it's like Dio just Dio and other vampires, and well, less so with the Pillar Men, bizarre, even though their powers make absolutely no sense, they're more consistent. Like, and now I'm a vampire, and now I'm a floating head, and now I've stolen your body, and now I and have now, And now I shoot eye beams! And now I'm dead. And now I have ice powers! And now I can freeze you! And now I can, um... Make put a man's face on a dog's body. Oh yeah, he did that. And now I can make vanilla ice into a vampire. I mean, yeah, that one's kind of funny. It's like, wait, that's actually just a regular I mean, vampire I, ability. They didn't have that before. I do like the original ability of. I like that the original idea that Joseph had was okay. Ab Abdul, if we're not out in ten minutes, burn the fucking place down. And then they didn't and then do Abdul's that. like, well, it's been ten minutes. Uh, I'm gonna. I think we should go look for him. But but if we burn the place down, you'll probably kill Dio. You can't hide him. Yeah, right? but Iraqi forgot Iraqi about that, forgets. so we're not gonna do that. Oh, and Araki never forgets. It's been, ten, uh, it's been ten minutes, let's go look for him. It's been ten minutes, Araki forgot. And then Polnareff dies. And then Polnareff gets everyone killed. And once again, yep. a doggo dies in JoJo. I mean, it had been at least a couple uh, chapters. It's been a while since he killed one in that, in that, se in that part no, of the No, wasn't he killed them during the pet shop fight? Viciously had two dogs ripped apart by pet shop. Yeah, but that was at least a couple minutes. That's a long time for Iraqi. Yeah, true. Man, but come on. Pet shops. I find it bizarre how probably the most intense fight apart from until Dio is actually pet Iggy versus pet shop. The Dio fight is great until the finale. You mean where it's like, by the way, I also time stopped. And also, I'm gonna kick with my bad leg. Take this, Dio. The world. Dresher, the world is by stand. That's not how it works. I stole your stand. Wait, what? Fuck! You there, woman, pass me my leg. Oh. Yeah, he did that. And then kills her. Fucking yeah. weird, dude. You expect you expect anything better from well, Dio. That's the point. Is Dio is that character you love to hate, so when you see him actually get beat the fuck out, you're just so happy. It's great. You're like, yes, finally he dies. Or does he? No, this time he is dead. It says Until it pushes you... the world so hard, Dio explodes. Until you get to Dio Brando from an... Dio Brando from Part Seven and Dio Brando from another universe, also from Part Seven. No, 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 it's Dio. Oh, it's Diego. I thought they actually wait. No, because the one from another universe is actually just called Dio Brando. Well, fuck, fucking Diego Brando. God.
Play it. Fucking Diego. Well, we'll see Diego soon. I wonder if they'll like have Diego voiced by Dio, or if they'll get somebody else. Yeah. Don't know. Dio well, I guess that would. Like an accent. Yeah. I... Yeah, I do kind of think I do keep forgetting about how. Um... Uh, I do forget about um, the the English dub because I never watch it. Tries to actually do accents. Oh yeah, because the uh, and then part uh, two and uh, one and two, they they have like they had to do like attempts at British accents. Attempts is the correct word. Yes. Well, did they make Polnareff right French in the dub? I assume so. I don't know. Oh. I have no idea. Wee oui, wee. Oui. I have no fucking idea. They might have. I surrender, and I'm now going to eat a croissant. I wish he surrendered. Hold on, Ruff, never surrender. More... Hold on, Ruff, never I wish surrender. he did. I wish he did. More people would be alive if he did. Yeah, well. Remember how Horse was meant to become part of the group? Yeah, we mentioned that last time we were talking about JoJo. The whole horse. Why didn't the he? The whole horse. Uh... Like many things, I think Iraqi was like, ah, I can't be asked. Anymore. Fuck it. Fuck this. His stand power is just gun. Or he can direct the bullets, but yeah. And then, but guy in part five has the exact same stand power. <laughs> he... What Iraqi would never reuse powers? What are you talking about? I mean, apart from the world. What? No. That's no, not, it's not no. the world, it's Star Platinum the world. Totally different. You're right. Totally different. Original the stand, do not seal. I jo Jojo is is dumb. I mean, you could say it's bizarre. Ha 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 I'll kill you. Man, so how long until someone until Hollywood tries to adapt Jojo? Uh, uh, I mean, Warner Brothers owns the the rights for distribution in America, so sleep tight, America. Like, I'm I mean, sorry. I don't know. I I, don't, I didn't mean. I mean, they tried with Death Note, but and we saw how that worked. Yeah, it was Netflix. Though. That was not a studio. That was. It was also their own fault. They yeah. like. They 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 refused to like you know commit to the actual story because they're like it's too it's too disturbing. We can't air that. So like okay. Almost all of these things always like we can't commit to the real story because. Pfft. Well, no, they well no, they they're just like like they kept trying to be like so so can we make it so that like you know Rook is like manipulating him and like no the point of the story is that a regular nice kid turns into a psychotic murderer. Well, and maybe he was no, no, and, my, my, and maybe what? he was always psychotic deep down. Just look, just needed an excuse to start, and they were like, no, that's too weird. No, no, my point was they all the uh, like uh, like American like live action adaptations look at the original thing and be like, that's too weird. We can't do so that. If, no, it's not even that it's weird. It's that people. It's that a large chunk of the time you get the writer. The writers have a, have an idea of something they wanted to do that's generally separate, and they're like, well, if we repurpose this ever so slightly, or and sometimes rewrite the entire fucking thing, we can just do what I wanted to do to begin with. It's, Literally, what happened with 98 Godzilla? We're gonna make a god. Oh yeah, 90, 98 Godzilla is literally a guy who hated. We're gonna Godzilla. make a Godzilla movie, but we don't like Godzilla, so we're just gonna do our own thing, and that turned out so well. It's, well movies were movies were the people working on. Oh yeah, and that also happened. That happened with Mario. That happened with the Mario live yeah, action yeah, movie yeah. too. And um, it's probably almost what's almost likely what's gonna happen with the Sonic movie. To be fair, I mean the Super Mario Brothers. Was kind of entertaining, even though it was so bad. Well, but it, I liked it. I, I liked thought it was it. funny. I thought it was funny though that Jim Carrey uh, is mad at the director for. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'll mention the awful thing I had about that after that. Yeah, so he's actually mad at the director because they decided to change the design of Sonic uh, due to uh, backlash. And it was like a guy, uh, like sort of a guy who's done like production work on a lot of movies, like like Dread. It was like, no, Jim, you're wrong. Fans have a right to complain about things if they're if 
properties aren't represented correctly. But, you know, Jim yeah. Carrey is a crazy yeah. old man at this point. He really is. So I guess he's perfect to be Eggman. Yeah. But then Which it's like... Which Robotnik, or are they calling him Eggman again? Oh, fucking no. I don't know, they're probably calling him Eggman. I'm just gonna call him Jeff, he looks like a Jeff. Back when they thought Sonic I mean, took place in this fantasy world and not, like, and kind then, of the modern world, but not really. Remember that time Sonic met the president? Yes. Was it in Sonic Adventure? One of them. Or oh, Shadow the Hedgehog, can't remember which one. Yeah. Uh, Sonic Adventure and Shadow the Hedgehog, both. Sonic Adventure is when, like, they realized that, that what they thought was the actual Sonic uh, universe was completely wrong. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because everyone thought it was the one thing because of the way that they were written in the American books. Yeah. And the cartoons that were coming out at the time. And even also the games, which like had fair, they didn't have any actual people other than like. Uh, other than him. Um, so. But then again, they all they also had were like a couple of animals, uh, and it was like they were just inside the robots. So, so the Sonic, then, you know, Sonic Claw, New York City exists. Also, Sonic Claw. Giant like city that is literally just a casino, and the buildings are slot machines. Also exist. Yes. I mean, I think we can start to see why Sonic has such a bad reputation these days. At least with Mario, you know more or less what you get. Until I guess you got to Odyssey, and like, what the fuck? There's no continuity in yeah, Mario. Yeah. Don't don't kid yourself. Mario, don't fucking kid yourself. Mario is just Mario. Mario is bad. Mario is just as stupid. Yeah, yeah. Mario is stupid. Oh yeah. The, oh yeah. In this game, the Desert Kingdom's next to us, and in most of the games there, but sometimes it's the Sky Kingdom or the Water Kingdom. But hey, don't worry. I'll just hop. Up. We'll just head over to New Donk City with all those regular-looking people. Yes. Oh wait, that's a... even even before that. Or, or let's go. Let's go on a plane and see those weird-looking like. Hula people with the weird noses. Yeah, apparently Delfino Island is visible on Mario Odyssey's map. I believe that. Well, there was uh, parts of the game that were that they did want to do uh, that were cut. Like they actually did have like uh, concept art of like Rosalina and Daisy at one point that they didn't use. Rosalina was like this, uh, like almost looked like this hipster girl on a guitar. <laughs> I've seen the art of that. It's pretty good. It's pr it's pretty funny. I love it. <laughs> oh shit! So yeah, there was actually gonna be a star. There was gonna be like a star land at one point, and then they didn't do it. Oh fuck! God. There was like there was a bunch of stuff. Hold what? the fuck up! I got big gaming news. Oh. The Tyler Tasmanian Tiger Switch Remaster has reached its Kickstarter funding goal. Oh yeah, I thought I thought I heard about that. I Maybe I'll pick it up at some point. I've never played Ty. Fucking hell. I mean, Ty is that game where it's like... I'll have to find time between it and Voodoo Vince. Uh, Voodoo Vince. Voodoo. Fuck it. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. That... That game nobody really remembers. I mean, no one remembers Ty the Tasmania Tiger except me. He had like... Are you kidding me? Vince had one game. Ty had like three or four. Like, I was, I, I'm still surprised that uh, Vince ended up on fucking uh, Steam. I was like, what? You, you exist? I'm just, I'm just baffled that Titus has making a Tiger still keeps cropping up because they got like a, they got like a D downgrade thing of like a site of like a 2D side scroller. I think they used it semi recently. It's like fucking Ty. I love that first game, but only out of like pure nostalgia, I think, and also because the goofy accents make me laugh. Everyone has like a really bad Australian accent. No, it was actually really good. It's just you know they're all Aussies. Aussie people make me laugh. Hello. That. What the fuck was that? You like better. You like better accents. I was giving you a bad Nazi one. accent. Is Hello. I like the Governor, how you doing? Like the Aussie accent isn't bad. I like it. It's just funny, because it's like, haha, oh, these people are horribly racist. It's like, it's like almost quaint, you know. You can't hate an you can't hate an Australian, even though most of them are terrible people. It's just you can't even. I mean, first of all, you're saying that, and then you can't even really say that because you live in Brexit country. I mean, 
I didn't vote. For, I didn't vote for Brexit. I didn't vote for my prime minister. But you're getting it anyway. That's fair. Yeah. To be fair, I can re I can relate to yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, yay! We get to please. For we get to please fifty-one percent of the population. Piss off forty-nine percent. I mean, realistically, pissed off everyone. But what can you do? Apart from you know, I've actually thought about this. The easiest solution is honestly to start a war. That solves all, that solves all of the current problems. Yeah, but nobody will do that. Uh, we already have a lot of no, wars but we going start on, a big dude. War. Well, I mean, World War Three. World War Three. Let's do it. No, yeah, it does solve a lot of the economic problems. Yeah, a lot, of, problems. a lot of people will die, but it's not like the human race could use a bit of a pruning every now and then. I mean, we are also having an over, we are having an overpopulation crisis, so might not. I'm just saying there are benefits to global war. I like to say that everything I've said about this is made in jest and totally do not mean any of it. Please don't arrest me. Arrest him, officer. No. But you're an, wait, you're an, you're a white American guy. They're not going to arrest you for preaching hate. It's true. He's right. I might make you fucking president. It's true. He's right. Besides, I never, I never said I was white. But you are though. I mean, I I I, I, I could be black. <laughs> no, no one believes that. No one here. No one believes that. <laughs> so. You don't even believe that, even as a joke. No, like no, no. Good joke. Uh, yeah, even I couldn't buy. Even I couldn't sell that. You, I couldn't sell that. None of us could sell. Like, oh yeah, I'm totally. Uh, insert anything other than white. What are you talking about? I'm Hispanic. No, you ain't. You know how to play Anglay. No, you ain't. Oh. No one. No one's buying no. it. No one. Well, at least I'm not the people of Derbyshire. Because Dan broke over here, by the way. Bit of a whoops. What? Oh yeah, we had a dam burst. Well, not here, but. Oh! Uh, county for county not too far away had a dam burst. Sounds like well, fun. Well, I was yeah, my god over here yesterday. My house wasn't washed away, so it was it was fun for me. Good thing I don't live in the flood zone. Do you live in the in the danger zone though? No, I don't. Matt, what a fucking world we live in that Top Gun Two is actually happening. That. That's fine, he can always fly into the danger zone! Yeah. <laughs> that is sad though, because a friend of mine is like, you know, you probably should go and see Top Gun 2 if for no other reason than it does than it gives than it's giving money to Disney's only competition. And it's like, that's horrifying, that is a legitimate reason to tap people to go to other movies. You're right. Like Disney owns like like almost every movie that comes out. Well, like I out. said, it's like literally. Oh yeah, that re that reminds me. So you know how like I I, w I was making cracks about uh, like the whole Spider Verse thing being uh, the thing that finally t makes me believe it will be the, like my villain origin story. It's the thing that make like oh, give it time and I'll start thinking we do deserve trash and uh, like the human race only deserves trash movies. Yeah, I do believe that now because I saw uh, the Lion King re the li the Great Lion King remake. Um, Sold really well. It's it, it might even break Frozen's record somehow. Despite right. everyone who's right. seen it having at best little, told me, mermaid yeah. Bomb, so that's okay. Well, it's the baffling thing is everyone told. Me. No, it won't. None of those will bomb. None of those bomb. As much as we would love them to bomb, not a single one of them is bomb. No, little, little Mermaid is gonna bomb horrifically in China, Japan. Black oh yeah, it'll bomb there. So, Cause yeah, I mean, no, it'll bomb there. But there's also we didn't for a time we didn't. And since China is such a massive market, it might make them you know rethink. But yeah, it's like um, I mean, it also helps that we for a time we didn't think Star Wars could fail. 
Yeah, actually, I remember we had that conversation where I was like, I don't think it could fail, no, and then it, it actually no, did. It, it did uh, with with Han Solo. I mean, yeah, it's kind of. I mean, it's not surprising considering like every single fucking step Disney has taken with Star Wars has been a mistake. Like leaving aside the movies and their questionable quality, and but the fact they were pushed out for yearly releases meant people were more likely to get sick of them. And then yeah, bombarded with I, I, all the merchandise. And then they leave the game rights with EA, a company who dragged the name through the mud by virtue of being at the centre of a controversy that has fundamentally changed the laws of several countries. Yeah, and at the very least has gotten like several countries to eyeball it and, and had several game companies go, hmm, maybe we should be quiet for, on loot boxes like, for a little bit. Like, it's had a completely and... negative impact on games. And then, yeah. and then alongside all the cancel projects, and the only thing they've got coming up now is that fucking... What's it even called? Fallen Order? Something like I that? Know. Like I don't know. I watched that. Th I watched the like gameplay trailer for that, and I was just, this looks so boring. How do you make an action game in a post Devil May Cry Five world that looks so janky like that? Uh, make a Western one. Tell me I I'm mean, wrong. Not good Western action games. It's just Fallen Order does not look to be one. It does not look to be uh, one. I, I, I'm honestly like trying to think of one. Like, not even being funny, and I can't Ones think of one. Ones that specifically aren't shooters, I imagine. Yeah, 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 specifically. Uh, or sandbox games, I'm getting it, I also guess. Yeah. Uh, let me just walk over to my shelf. It has to primarily be an action game. Uh, too. Neo's uh, uh, Western, isn't it? Which Neo, one? the Japanese Dark Souls, uh, Samurai Dark Souls before they. Uh, no, no, uh, no, that, no, that's by uh, Tecmo Koei. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Uh... Yeah, fair enough. I can't think of one. I'm sure something yeah, exists. Yeah, they. they... <sighs> I. I... I got nothing, honestly. I'm not even, I wasn't even trying to be funny when you said I thought about it. I was like, because I don't like God, the God of War games. Um, and yeah, I got I got literally nothing. It's kind of like how like you know like early uh, like '90s platformers, like the Western ones, always had that weird jank to them. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm talking no, about, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and and I say that about like pretty much all of them, including Donkey Kong Country, because Donkey Kong Country is pretty fucking jank. Hmm. I do not. Donkey Kong Country is not really all that great. But like, yeah, I I don't know. So it's like all these other missteps with Star Wars and just the general sort of. By the way, I know we're going a little bit long. It's like the last level yeah. of the game, so I figured we might as well just finish it I up. The, the last yeah, world. Because it, it wouldn't last a full, uh... It wouldn't last a full recording next time, so I said Well, I think it. the other problem is that, Star is that even beyond all of that, there's just this negative culture that's been bred about Star Wars. Because, like... So you have things like, obviously, the controversy surrounding The Last Jedi. And I'm not really going to go into my thoughts on The Last Jedi, because I've done that a lot. We've all but we've like, all uh, done that one like a hundred times. But that would have for making just a bad movie would have been fine because fuck me, there's enough bad Star Wars movies as is. One more wasn't going to significantly yeah. change anything. Uh, but the problem, but then like, so you have the negative appeal of like fucking Ryan Johnson, and especially when he rears his ugly head when the Game of Thrones fiasco happened. Ryan. And he's like, ha, oh, you didn't get what you wanted, isn't that funny? It's like, obviously not. Because they do, because they, because D.B. Weiss and whatever the fucking other guy's name is, ran away like a bitch. Man. Oh yeah, when they, they, they ran away from their, their own panel. You're cowards, at least go on stage and take your beating like men. Or, or, or try to pretend like, yes, we. this was our great vision or some bullshit. You know what? At the end of the day, for as bad as Catwoman the movie is, at least Halle Berry accepted that Razzie with fucking, with fucking honor. She so did. I always give her credit that she, did, that she took that right on the chin. 
Yeah, like they knew she knew it was bad. She didn't care. Yeah, mo mo most actors and directors will not, but Halle Berry is like, yep, yep, give it to he me. It. I'll take it. So at least an awards an award, even if it's it. shit. So no, and meanwhile, D like Dan and Dan or whatever D and D are cowardly running away because they got Star Wars now for that scene. So they can hop on that scene and shit. And I guess they have a big Netflix contract, so whatever. They don't care. They made their yeah. money. Yeah, they don't care. They made their money. They pissed a whole bunch of people off, and unfortunately, it's like because R they... it's like George R. R. Martin's like, I got more money than I'll ever need. I'm not going to finish the story. But yeah, it's kind of the thing. He has no incentive to finish. I don't care if you guys hate it. Like, why should why should he? <laughs> Just would don't you think about it? Would you? I mean, would you like fucking finish the books in his position? I mean, only because he could specifically do something completely different and like piss the TV people off. He's old. He doesn't want to do anything. I mean, or, or he can just like you know not care. I think he just doesn't care. Oh, he stopped caring ages ago. I mean, the fact there was like a year or two between books to start with and then sort of came into like these big five to seven year gaps. So remember as a series, they start in like the late 90s. Which is uh, like crazy to me when I realized that. I was like, oh! Yeah, there's seven books that come out in like the span of about 20 years. Oh no, sorry, six books, the seventh books are once still coming out. Meanwhile, you look at someone like Stephen King, he's written like 50 books in that 20 year span. Yeah. Or meanwhile, you look over in Japan, it's like, oh, Oda and Araki have been doing their like manga for fucking 30 years, not almost non stop. The only thing happens with Oda as he continues drawing. Uh, the uh, organs of the female characters slowly disappear. Mm. That's more a problem in like the anime adaption than his actual. Oh no, it's in the manga. Well, it, it is. What I'm saying it is definitely. Oh, it's oh, oh, it, oh it's, it's in the manga too. It's, it's far more like a problem with the show than it is. It's it's both, honestly. And it's really, really fucking annoying. It. I don't care about fan service. It just looks weird. Also, I, I have an issue when you make, like, you have all the guys, or they all have, like, different, like, faces and bodies, and you literally have the same chick, but it's, like, different hairstyles, maybe. Sometimes. Tommy and Robin have different faces. Well, they're not used to... Really to... That's... Oh, yeah, I forgot. Robin has a different they're face. They're not used to drawing more than one. Like, more than one female character? What is this? Impossible. I mean, it's better than uh, Toriyama, who can really only do, like... Two human faces. I'm um, like four. And then you just create. And then I think what happens with Toriyama when he's designing people is he has like a create a character thing. Because <laughs> I have sort of made many jokes about how uh, the Dragon Quest XI hero is literally just Android D Android 17. What's funny is the protagonists are usually the, the the ones that don't look as great. It's the the party members that look better typically. Yeah, the protagonists are all just a variation of, uh... Well, he, like, he clearly likes drawing monsters and creatures and slimes. Uh, party members are people. No, I just meant that Toriyama likes designing monsters. Oh, he, oh, he, lo oh, he, like, oh, his favorite thing is to draw are definitely, like, machinery and Well, creatures. unless he has to draw the machinery a lot of times. Because he did, like, that one sort of one-shot manga thing, which was about a guy with a tank, and he instantly regretted it because he hated how he had to draw the tank every time. So if he can just do like a mm. one shot, one shot of doing a thing. But yeah, man, I'm still just in awe of Ty coming to Switch. <laughs> so fucking dumb. Also, because I have like the tab open, and they keep glancing. It's like, oh right, yeah, that. But yeah, I am going to try and grind through the rest of Trails 2, and then not sure if I'll jump straight to Cold Steel after Trails 2 or go for or go and get Trails 3, or uh, Trails in the Sky 3. Because from what I've been told, it's not super necessary. Not really. I know the one thing I'm going to do 
Uh, after I finish uh, Fire Ember, is uh, I'm going to probably get Mario Odyssey because I never actually got that yeah. game. Neat. So that's going to be my uh, next big game purchase. That but that'll be some time. Is that the one with the hat? Yes. Uh, yes, yeah, the one with the hat. Cappy. Ca Mappy? No, Cappy. Mappy, I need you to put this on my desk. I mean, it's a reference only I get. I miss Mappy, damn it! It was so good! It's over now. I want Mappy and I want Bravo Man! Give it back! Give it back! <laughs> they took it, it was ours! <laughs> Everything is made. Seriously, I, I really wish Namco did something with that whole project where they like made like some games or some shit. Uh, yeah, apart from like the app games they made, you mean? Yeah. Because I know there were app games, but I didn't have a smartphone at the time, and they were cancelled before I got a smartphone. <laughs> So, you can't even play them anymore. You can't play the Bravo Man game anymore. I have the Bravo Man, uh, was it the, the port of that game on, on the Wii, but, uh, I don't, if I was to play it, it'd be like that thing I'd play for a little while, or like, a, as like a one shot and not finish because it's fucking hard. It's also not the greatest, to be honest. It was pretty rough. It was like an early, early, like, arcade game. Mm. So, I, like an early like arcade game attempt at a side scroller, so you know it's it's a little it's a little yeah, rough. that old jank. Yeah, it's got that kind of jank on it. It it's sli it's slightly it's similar. It's actually very similar jank to oh, uh, Western pla platformer jank. That's the other thing I wanted to talk about. Remember, did you hear the Evo thing? Oh, you mean the guy who deleted the game? No, I was talking about the snake thing. Oh, I'll talk about mine real quick. So yeah, uh, one guy who lost at uh, cross tag battle deleted the game off of the Evo PlayStation real quick. Wow. <laughs> After he lost. Who was he playing as? I've, I don't know. I just knew about that part, and I was like, oh my god, I've no that's that's a new one. That's Rage Quit if I've ever heard one. Okay, you're doing my bit now. So that was yeah. like a tr so that was like a sort of yeah how Evo has like a lot of big fighting game announcements, right? Yeah, I know it was during the Namco yeah. one. Like, they had like a that. codec call pop up, and then it had like David, like someone had got because like David Hayter does this thing now where he'll like record voice line. You give him some yeah. money and he'll, he'll record voice yeah. line. So someone had paid him to record a voice line of like saying uh, something about Tekken. I can't remember. And everyone was like, got fucking obsessed because it's like, oh, obviously if you're gonna do that during the big announcement, you think Snake in Tekken. So then, suddenly, they have to Eva has to massively pump the brakes and be like, "No, no, no! This was a joke." And David Hayter himself is like, "I didn't give you permission to do this with my those voice clips." Eva did Konami. Yeah. You can kind of. What's funny is like a little bit later was it uh, Pollock, the guy who does Eggman, talking about how like he doesn't do stuff mm -hmm. like that because of you know the rights holders of the character and stuff like that. And honestly, especially after that. I can really understand why he wouldn't want to do well, that. I don't know why he didn't, because somebody edited it so he said it sounded like he was saying inappropriate things like the original robot. Pingus. Yeah, pretty much. And he's like, right, I'm not, right, okay, I'm never recording anything again for you people. No. Yeah. So it's just, but it's just that fucking thing of, of all the, t t it's like, how could someone do that? They like, yeah, we'll just do this joke, everyone will get it, it won't mislead anyone. Oh shit. Especially right before they announce uh, characters yeah. that were coming to Tekken, because like like they paused for a while as like Harada and them were saying like no Snake isn't coming in, and then you know they finally got to do their season three announcement where they showed Zafina and Le and Leroy yeah. Smith. I'll be honest, none of the big announcements at Evo were that interesting to me. Uh, what was it? Oh, I I was more interested because I Leroy Smith looks fun. Mm. Uh, I think he's using I think he's using like a Wing Chun style. Yeah, something like that. And I, I like I like how it looks. Um, Zafina, the new Zafina looks cool. Um, I'm interested in Samurai and uh, the, the Samurai Showdown the characters getting added to fucking uh, Homer getting added to fucking Soul Calibur. Um, Cassandra getting in, in is pretty cool because I do want to. I haven't played it yet because I've been playing uh, Fire Emblem, but I will play her when I get a chance. Um, Speaking of uh, new then, characters. Uh, Oh, all right, good, and I know, like, I know. Go ahead. Well, let me mention the Street Fighter one real quick, and then Street Fighter like uh, up, like put out like three all at once. They put out like 
Lu uh, was it Lucia, E Honda, and Poison all at mm -hmm. once? So, so they're adding a new Ruby character to to cross tag battle. Yeah. Oh yeah, the 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 the, 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 uh, the one who has ice cream. Yeah, hair. Neo. The character who says nothing and has no plot relevance, but they added her anyway because people voted for her that much. Because she's popular. I guess because, because she has ice cream hair, I guess. I don't know. She hasn't been in the show in like two years. Like she was in one episode this season what? after no showing since people thought she died. I I forgot about her to be honest. I was like, oh yeah, you ice cream. I hair. was like, of all the all the many other more interesting characters you picked, Neo. Uh, what would you expect? I mean, I figured it'd be like Pira or John or Cinder. Uh, they're not gonna add Crow, are they? Or, well, I'm no. I mean, they could. He has a new voice now. Yeah, but probably. Listen, it, yeah, but Pira, Pira isn't isn't the one who looks like ice cream. So, you we'll know. see. She's dead. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, they're. But I, mean, I mean, they're using like they're using like the season one character design. So clearly, they don't care about continuity. It's not. It's not in canon with but, the show. Or is it? But yeah, we. But yeah, we know she's getting in. Um, and then like someone from another fighting game is getting I in. I wanted Roman. Damn it! I wanted Pimp Cane. Parent. You're not getting any of the guys. That's yeah, real. yeah, he's right. It is the magical lesbian show. Uh, you you aren't going to get any of the dudes. A, you can scream you, for them, but they're not going to get If you have in. a penis, then you're a second-class citizen. It's also the anime fighter thing. Usually anime fighters uh, weigh uh, more with female characters than male. For waifu. Babe. I wonder why. For waifus, I just said. Why do you think fucking... But, uh, uh, we're going we're gonna to end it here because we're almost at two, two fucking hours. It's like 140. So, uh, thank, thank you guys for watching this. Come back for the next Kirby game. Have a good day.